Hello everyone, my name is Michael Lee and I will be doing a little documentary uh, for CST361 Technology Tutors and I was given the opportunity to work on a backup project for a uh, university and this university is called uh, International Technological University. This project was done with a group of classmates that made this project a lot more enjoyable. Now ITU was first established by Dr. Shu Park Chan in 1994 and he is a bold visionary that was uh, that came from China and uh, during his last days he was battling Alzheimer's but he still continues to impact ITU for many generations to come. Now you may be asking what ITU actually does and where it is located. Well ITU actually has a lot of different specialties. Uh, one, uh, a lot of them are based more towards Silicon Valley. Uh, so a lot of computer science, uh, engineering, uh, business, uh, a lot of these subjects will all be a part of their programs. And this includes electrical engineering, digital arts, computer science, computer engineering, software engineering, so on and so forth. And a lot of these programs are going to be for masters, masters or PhD, so MBA, or so on and so forth. And a lot of the people that actually have bachelor's degree would be able to attend ITU for furthering their education. Now, our main contact at ITU was Chris James, and he has been working for ITU for approximately three years. And before this, he actually lived in the East Coast where he worked in a similar field. And uh, throughout the whole project, he was uh, very passionate and very charismatic. And we were actually were excited to work with him. And he was also reciprocating that excitement as well. And he was actually tasked with getting a little bit more information for the previous alumni students that were not recorded within the database. So they were missing uh, 2018 to 2019. Uh, a lot of the people that actually attended ITU. So, well, what the what is the project? The project is pretty simple. We we had to try to find all those missing students that's not in their database, uh, generally in 2018 and 2019, and then add them to a database. We also need to append any contact information if it was available and hopefully some Facebook, Facebook profiles or LinkedIn profiles, etc. And to do this, we actually needed to think of a way uh, to actually tackle this problem. And this was the more difficult part where we had to find the tools necessary to find all that missing information. And uh, since we actually did not have any reference data to go off of, it was extremely difficult. We had to do a lot of research for uh, Facebook API, LinkedIn API, uh, any API that we could find. And a lot of the APIs that we actually found uh, were not going to be the best tool to actually use for this project, uh, mostly because the costs were a little bit too high or it wasn't giving back the desired results. There was also some with restrictions and um, it was a little bit more difficult to actually get. So this brings us to Phantom Buster and uh, this was actually found uh, after hours of research and uh, looking through a lot of documentation to see if the contact information can be found, um, how we could web scrape and so on and so forth. So Phantom Buster is actually pretty interesting. It allows a lot of different uh, uh, did web scraping tools for multiple different sources. So LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Google searches, Instagram, uh, a lot of the social media and more popular social media sites will all be included in here. And uh, what we actually used for fan with Phantom Buster was the web scraping tool with the search function in uh, LinkedIn. And the reason why we actually use this is so that we could actually identify the previously graduated students and get contact information from LinkedIn specifically. And before we actually go forward, uh, we will be able to kind of get an idea 
as to what kind of fields were actually generated. So there's going to be URLs, there's going to be uh, phones and emails, past and current job positions, along with uh, contact information if it was available. And what we actually used on top of Phantom Buster was Lead Leaper. So we would open up all of these different uh, LinkedIn uh, profiles, and then we would grab the contact information with a little Chrome extension called Lead Leaper. After we actually grabbed all that data, we would be actually doing a survey. So we want to fill in all the information for the people that actually attended and are part of their database and the ones we actually generate ourselves. So this is kind of an idea as to what we actually uh, asked for. So the first and last name, age, major, year graduated, current job and salary, ethnicity, and their experience with ITU. And another neat feature we actually added was the referral program. So since we actually weren't able to generate all these uh, different contacts from uh, 2018 and 2019, we're asking all the users to actually attend and uh, fill out the survey to uh, give us emails of previous classmates in case it was missed so that we could actually uh, reconnect with the alumni. So this is kind of a uh, shot in the dark where we're trying to get people to actually help us out. After all this, uh, we would have to do something called merging and purging. So this would be uh, simpler in SQL, but it could be done programmatically as well. And SQL is pretty much a J database engine that will be able to store all the data and you could use uh, simple commands to join all the tables together and update the table and so on and so forth. So first we're going to start creating the new fields for the new information extracted with the base file that we actually had. So the file that they, uh, Chris actually gave us, uh, we actually needed to append new information and combine it with the results that we generated from Phantom Buster. And uh, once we actually do that, we append all that information and contact information to the already existing records. And for the records that does not exist, but exist uh, within the sc web scraping data, we would try to combine the two data sets together. So, what we actually want to do is make sure that all the data is merged before we actually put in the, inf the new information. And I did this based upon a first and last name basis. So if the data is actually included in the Phantom Buster results and in the SQL table, I would make sure that all the information, the contact information is appended to the end of those records. And uh, for the records that did not match any of the SQL tables, I would put that at the end. So we have one clean data set. In this page, we actually see Phantom Buster and all the products that's actually available. So we have Google Maps, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, a Craigslist uh, domain finder and email extractor. We have Facebook uh, tools, GitHub, Instagram, and more. And specifically, we're going to be using the LinkedIn search. And uh, the documentation on this was actually very well developed. And uh, here we could generate a list of contacts based upon uh, search parameters. So uh, this would help most companies like for lead generation or uh, scraping LinkedIn articles and help people recruit uh, for better employees. Once you actually go to this page, you would click on this link here. And we will be able to go to this page. And this is after I actually signed up with an account with them. First place we would go is configuration, and this is actually where we put in the search input. Once we actually do that, we set the number of pages it will go through for the search results in ITU for uh, LinkedIn. 
and also set configurations to the output. And this is actually a very simple GUI that uh, makes it a little easier to actually navigate through. Uh, once once we actually hit launch, we will be able to see a lot of results uh, that come back and it will be giving back a lot of uh, LinkedIn URLs that we can use. So over here, I'm actually on my LinkedIn page and uh, what I'm going to be using is something called Lead Leaper. And this is actually just a really simple extension tool located on the top right that you could actually download. And uh, every time you actually access the LinkedIn profile, you can just click this button. It'll give you the name, the title, the company that you're working for, and some contact information. And uh, sometimes this is actually not the most accurate information, but it is going to be something that we're going to be using. Also, we actually see the LinkedIn URL right here. Here is an example of what you might see in uh, the survey. So here we have the first and last name that we can insert. We have the age and we have a little nice checkbox that you can actually choose from. A major, so we will put in something like electrical engineer or computer science. The month and year that you they actually graduated to actually fill in that information if we got it from Phantom Buster and also employment status. So here they could actually choose to answer or uh, or not. And here is uh, where you could put in the current employer or the current job title and the range of salary. So we allow them not to actually uh, disclose this information if they do not want to. And also ethnicity if they so choose. So. Uh, this is going to be where we actually do the review for ITU and the referral program that was mentioned earlier. So here we are trying to get uh, ask ask the survey taker a uh, favor to tell them, hey, uh, we actually need to reconnect with all the people that we uh, currently had in our data database or intend ITU, and we would like to reconnect with them. So. Hopefully this will actually generate more results than we actually had before, uh, but we shall see about that. Here is an example of what you might see in uh, the survey. So here we have the first and last name that we can insert. We have the age and we have a little nice checkbox that you can actually choose from a major so we will put in something like electrical engineer or computer science the month and year that you they actually graduated to actually fill in that information if we got it from phantom buster and also employment status so here they could actually choose to answer or uh or not And here is uh, where you can put in the current employer or the current job title and the range of salary. So we allow them not to actually uh, disclose this information if they do not want to. And also ethnicity if they so choose. So uh, this is going to be where we actually do the review for ITU and the referral program that was mentioned earlier. So here we are trying to get uh, ask ask the survey taker a uh, favor to tell them, hey, uh, we actually need to reconnect with all the people that we uh, currently had in our data database or intend ITU, and we would like to reconnect with them. So hopefully this will actually generate more results than we actually had before, uh, but we shall see about that. 